it wasn't an algorithm. You need to understand that first. The images and sounds you were shown, the cryptic numbers that appeared in your recommendations, that was a signal, a tuning fork resonating with something already inside of you. You were chosen because you are one of the few who senses that the reality we see is just a fraction of the whole story. A beautiful, hypnotic, but fragmented echo. For months, you've been collecting those echoes, feeling their power without understanding the source. Consider this video the first translation of that source. This is not another theory or a guess. This is the blueprint, the very architecture of the philosophy you've been subconsciously drawn to. What you are about to see is the key that elevates you from a mere spectator of the mystery to an active participant in its unfolding. The puzzle pieces are in your hands. Now, let's begin to assemble them. You feel it, don't you? That subtle shiver running through things, like a geometric whisper woven into the very fabric of the world. It's not your imagination, it's the echo of an ancient order. A harmony that doesn't force its way in, but gently seeps into view. It's invisible to a hurried glance, but obvious to anyone who learns to see with more than just their eyes. They call it the golden ratio, but that's just a name. And like all names, it fails to capture what slips away. 1.618033 and its endless trail of decimals like a numerical mantra stretching into eternity, never repeating, never closing. It's the measure of the immeasurable, the ratio that can't quite be grasped yet governs the unfolding of form, like a hidden conductor tucked between the folds of the score. This proportion, born of a divine mathematical eccentricity, shows up everywhere. It dances in the arrangement of flower petals and the sweep of spiral galaxies, you can find it in the curve of a seashell, the bones of your fingers, and the facade of the Parthenon. It's a pattern that connects the rhythm of our own heartbeats to the vast silence of space. It doesn't announce itself, it simply waits to be found. But you can only find it if you're willing to let go of looking at the world in a purely logical way. Because, you see, the universe does not speak in syllogisms. It speaks in curves, it speaks in spirals, it speaks in echoes and analogies. The golden ratio is not merely an aesthetic rule, it is a forgotten language, an intonation, a resonance, a shared vibration that crosses the fabric of the visible and the invisible, weaving bonds between what is minuscule and what is immense, between the beat of a cell and the breath of stars. And aren't you just a bit curious why, when looking at a painting by Piero della Francesca or the silent face of the Parthenon, something within you, something you've never studied or named, recognizes? As if a dormant part of your mind whispers, Ah, yes, this, this is how it should be. It's not magic, or maybe it is. Maybe it's a magic so ancient it has simply become the structure of our world. A kind of geometry that isn't meant to measure things, but to help us remember something. Remember what, you ask? Oh, that's not something that can be spelled out in words. But it's enough to know that what you call reality rests on foundations made of agreements whose music we've forgotten. But sometimes, if we're quiet enough, we can still feel it vibrating right beneath our feet, a deep, constant note holding together the entire score of existence. In nature, this golden thread hides in plain sight, in the seed patterns of a sunflower, the veins of a leaf, the colossal spiral of a hurricane. It's the secret grammar of growth, the rhythm the universe uses to build itself. And in art? Ah, in art, it is relic, a talisman guarded carefully by those who know. Leonardo, naturally, but also Mondrian, who squared its mystery. 
And further still, in ancient architectures where the golden ratio wasn't calculation, but ritual. Not a parameter to optimize, but a threshold to cross. Because every proportion is a threshold, and the golden ratio is a door that doesn't open, it watches you. Do you feel at ease in a room built on the divine proportion? Of course you do. But you don't know why. And that is the wonder. The familiarity of the unknown, that perfect imperfection, is the key. It's what keeps order from being sterile. It's what makes it feel alive. And yet, most of us miss it entirely. We walk through buildings that sing with harmony, but we don't hear the music. We live our lives surrounded by these asymmetric symmetries and secret scales of beauty, but we're not listening. We're too busy searching for some complicated hidden truth when the truth has been here all along, luminous and silent, embedded in the curve of a branch or the space between two musical notes. Here's the thing. There's nothing to understand, that's the paradox. This implicit harmony isn't a puzzle to be solved, it's a presence to be felt. It bites gently, a shiver that crosses the mind like a flash of recognition. I was there when this code was written. An echo of the beginning, perhaps. A reflection of the end, who knows. Everything that is harmonious carries with it a hint of eternity. And indeed, the golden ratio does not die. It repeats. It reincarnates. It's in DNA, in fractals, even in stock market fluctuations, where the absurd meets the sublime. It's a constant that loves disguising itself as coincidence. But don't be fooled by appearances. There's nothing truly scientific about harmony. Or rather, Science has found it, but hasn't grasped it. Mathematics draws it, but doesn't explain it. Philosophy names it, but cannot hold it. And we, small observers adrift in a cosmos that resembles us too much to be foreign, go on ignoring the obvious, convinced truth is hidden in complicated graphs, when in fact it resonates in the curve of a shell. Microcosm and macrocosm mirror each other, always. And when their dance aligns, when their movements fall into phase, when numbers stop counting and begin to sing, then, for the briefest instant, everything returns. Like an illumination that doesn't save. Like a harmony that doesn't comfort. Like a secret everyone knows but no one tells. And you, who have read this far, you already know. You are not here to understand. You are here to remember. See you in the next episode.